you know, he made a show and a lot of people didn't like it. Just take the L, use it as a learning experience. Don't be labeling people as bigots and racists and use the excuse of, oh, it's basically review bombing. That's why my show is failing. But then again, if you want to listen to that advice, we will be making this episode now, would we? What up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of Red Ace Talks, the show that we talk about everything and anything. And right before we get to the topic, I just remind you, if you do like the episode, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, comment down below. Let me know what you think. And also hit the little bell icon. That way you're notified about future Red Ace production videos, such as music videos, chug reviews, and of course, you guessed right, more episodes of Red Ace Talks. Anyways, let's get to it. And I want to talk about Robin Hood with a Y. Robin Hood. <laughs> well, not the actual show. From Canada, by the way. You guys get to share with our wokeness. It's like a virus. The woke virus came in from the United States and just went to the whole world. <laughs> I apologize for that. But I'm going to be talking about the director. It seems the director, Julia Lutz, a.k.a. Director X. <laughs> Good call, Director X for now. That's a little interesting name. But Director X is upset with every single YouTuber out there that is mocking his show, calling them racists. Mention them by their YouTube handles. We're talking about, he mentioned Nerd Erotic. He mentioned Heels vs. Babyface. He mentioned The Quartering, Yellow Flash, Hypnotic. <laughs> the list goes on and on. Label them as racist because that's why they hate the show. Even though these guys are not racist. But he wants to label them as so. And pretty interesting stuff that we're going to be reviewing right now. Because the reason why he's calling them racist he, because he hates the fact that the IMDb scores are brutal with his show. How brutal? Well, 1.0 out of 10. And he likes to use the excuse that why, you know, because the show is in Canada. It's a Canadian show. But he saw that most of the reviews are coming from the United States. But the idiot just forgot that he recommended people to use a VPN. <laughs> Thanks, dude. That's oh, right. I say thanks. Does it have uh, American broadcasting yet? I'm in the middle of an international move. I think it might be the last thing I see on my television. Not yet. It's VPN time. <laughs> so what do people do? They use their VPN around the world. They saw this tweet and they wanted. To, they were curious about this whole show. Apparently, this show. Uh, just to give you a brief uh, summary. It is a race swap, gender swap of Robin Hood. Basically, Robin Hood, black female. Uh, Robin Lockley with her rap group, The Hood, get it? Robin Hood uh, is actually um, in The Hood itself, you know, the neighborhood in that gen general census. And the neighborhood cannot afford uh, the high rent prices. So what did they do? They decided to rob the sheriff of Nottingham and uh, the sheriff of Nottingham and the rich people. And it's like the same concept, but modernized version of the whole Robin Hood story. So. Just give you guys clip notes. Anyways, uh, just to see how bad this whole thing has gotten, he's gotten on the, his own news network to decry the whole racism. So let's just watch what he says on the news. Up some controversy. Directed by Canadian filmmaker director X, Robin Hood tells the story of legendary heroic outlaw Robin Hood with a modern day twist. This time they live at the corner yep. of Sherwood and Forest. It's the sheriff of New Nottingham and John Prince. And you know, they live in a, in a public housing and John Prince wants to buy it and tear it down and they don't want to leave. Director X says the new tale of the English folklore has been receiving some negative feedback online. The moment they heard uh, Robin Hood was going to be a woman and black and bisexual. They immediately hated it. He had to put that bisexual in there. <laughs> production. Lately, there's been well, a lot of anger. Hold up. That just covered everything. Black, woman, bisexual. ESG. <laughs> Over gender swapping, race swapping, and, you know, like the Little Mermaid, like all this stuff. Is made. <laughs> Why are you changing stuff, right? And I never felt that way with Robin Hood. I didn't feel like I was taking, like, a recent character. Right? Robin Hood has been interpreted a million different ways. So right, what about this? What if we did a modern Robin Hood and spell it with a Y? Oh, that's cute. All right, let's do that. But in their mind, this could only be more woke agenda. The director claims the series Which it is, is rating bombed and has taken to social media to address these videos and call out some of these content creators. Literally everybody hates this <laughs> trash fire of a show. And the reason why 
is because there goes of gamers. identity politics. It all comes back to identity politics. Since they perceive this to be identity politics, they've done this to the IMDb rating. There is a 1.1 1 .1 out of 10. 2.3 thousand people have voted. 2,000 of them have given a 1. My comments are filled with people saying all kinds of really bad racist things, right? There's, there's racism involved. But that makes them say, oh, you're calling us all racist. No, but there's racism involved. We can have an adult conversation about what's going on. So what's next? Director X told City News that he wants to have a conversation with these YouTubers to discuss these views. For City News, I'm Stella Quisto. We've been here growing. All right, so keep that in mind. That last bit, he wants to have a conversation with these YouTubers. Now, I want to show you. There's a YouTuber called Mark with a C. Now, when you when they show those YouTubers, the geeks, uh, geeks and gamers, on the bottom was Drunk Three PO. Um, that was the guy that that was featured in that on that on his phone in that video. Now, apparently, within the story, I had to put it in the middle because it's a long video. It's a 17 minute video that he put in. I'm gonna put the link down below that way you guys can give him some views and also get the whole story. But we didn't see a part of it. Um, Mark with a C. Uh, he was recommended by Drunk 3PO since the idiot director X wants you know to be interviewed uh, by the YouTubers who do not want him on his show because he's calling them racist and they don't want to deal with the headache. Mark with the C wants to actually uh, you know have an interview with him, but this is exactly what happened. So let's just take a listen. Now, does that sound like somebody who's going to give someone a, a bad shake? You know, even though I was brutal on his show. I was like, okay, if this dude actually wants to come to the table in good faith, I'll definitely give him a fair one. You know what I mean? And I don't even stream like that. But I'm like, okay, this could be this could be great because this is all about what my channel is is here for. It's about communication. It's about people not speaking about us. It's about us speaking for ourselves and contributing positively, constructively to the culture that we all belong to. So if this guy feels like he um, wants to have something to say, sure. So I'm like, okay, this is gonna be my first live stream where I'm actually gonna interview someone. I'm gonna take this shit seriously. I started writing questions. I was gonna give this guy a fair one. You know what I mean? And he replies, I said, uh, communication is key to understanding. Let's do it. Hit me up in my DM whenever you're ready. He replies, we in. We in, not we're in, not we are in, not okay, but we in. I guess now he feels like he's talking to a black dude. He can do that broken English thing, right? <laughs> I don't know, pause that for a minute because um, Director X, he gets all gangster at times on his uh, tweets, especially like when he was tweeting against uh, all the YouTubers and stuff. He's like, that's how we roll. <laughs> we from hood, you know, we from the hood. Listen, you're from Canada. <laughs> okay, so, no offense to my Canadian uh, views, uh, fans out there, but uh, let's just keep rolling. Sorry. So I'm like, cool. You know, so he's, we're in. I said, whenever you're ready, hit me up. 72 hours later. <laughs> crickets. E, 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 nothing. Okay. Uh, he hasn't hit me up in my DMs. DMs is wide open, right? I said, whenever you're ready. So apparently, maybe he just wasn't ready. Once again, still giving this guy the benefit of the doubt that he's acting in good faith. So I'm like, okay, maybe he's not ready. He can take his time. It's all good. But then, then I started seeing on Twitter, this dude constantly calling out white YouTubers I'll come on your show anytime. I'll come on your show anytime. Just say the word. I'll be right there. Just groveling, dude. Just groveling. I, I want to come on your show. I want to be there. I want to be there for you. You know, got to be there. Be there <laughs> on your channel. You know, he's like, I got to be there. Right? So you're actively begging other people to go onto their platforms when you, and these are the same people that you went on lo your local news TV station to complain about, guys. You should have seen it. I think I'll leave the link in the uh, comments below. You can Which we saw. Out. Dude actually alerted the media and told white other white people on the white people that he feels are racist. He went on the news. <laughs> he, he alerted the media to complain and cry about that. Look at what they're doing. Look at what they're writing. They're review bombing me. Look at <laughs> <laughs> I have never seen anything like this in my entire life, guys. You know? So he's complaining about these people 
and how they're racist towards his show. They're review bombing him, but behind the scenes, these are the same people that he's begging to get an audience with. All right. That's crazy. All right. So I want to cut it from there. I'll put the full, uh, you know, link in the description. That way you can see the whole video. But apparently, though, like as you can see, he was willing to give uh, direct to see. That's oh, right, direct to X, I should say. Well, we, call him, we should call him direct to C for, you know, what kind of word. <laughs> Mark with a C. That's why I got confused. Mark with a C wanted to have an uh, interview with Director X. Uh, he was ready, had the questions ready. You know, he was waiting for a response, didn't get a response. And uh, the, the, the title of this video, by the way, that we saw was Robin Hood Director Discriminates Against Black YouTuber. That's a discrimination right there, especially the fact that, like, you know, he's ready to interview. He put him on silent, and then all of a sudden, days later, he's still antagonizing the other guys, the white YouTubers, to be on their show. So, it's a little sus suspect right there, if you ask me. A little suspect. Mark with the C, by the way, you have a good singing voice. Because every time I try to do the same, it doesn't sound right. <laughs> Anyways, that's the whole Director X drama so far. That Mark, C, Mark with the C uh, video uh, was posted four hours ago. So I just felt like updating people who uh, haven't heard about it yet. So it seems that Director X doesn't want to talk to the uh, you know any black... YouTubers, he'd rather talk to the white people. Kind of suspects. That's what it is. Kind of suspects. I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you guys think about all this? I'm sorry this video was kind of long. I wanted to at least recap upon what's happening. Because I think this is ridiculous. This guy is a joke. A lot of people don't like his show. And they don't like the show because the show sucks. That's basically what it is. It's not review bombing. It's not, it's not racism. It's just that the fact the show sucks. And sorry, Canada, that we brought the wokeness to you. I don't know. Anyways, I gotta get going. From the past to the present for the future. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Keep it brutal, guys. Stay safe. Stay tuned.